Remember that slick Windows XP retro PC that I made? Great, wasn't it? Except when gaming, those fans sound like they are a stationary drone on crack. Whenever I play a game that requires more than average graphics, in this case, SWAT 4 for the review I did, this is the incredible noise that it generates. when starting up and windows idling. This isn't a problem, but as soon as it gets intense, it's liftoff time. So the biggest problem is that back fan. It's defective. I figured one of those fan blades must be broken or something. I set out to replace both fans. Not only the back one, but also the CPU fan. That stock fan might be just adequate, but I want this thing to feel pretty again, you know? Since it's an LGA 775 socket, and the space inside might be a bit narrow, I chose this Deepcool HTPC 200 CPU fan, but it'll make a worthwhile upgrade in comparison to the stock fan. It comes with multiple brackets for AMD and Intel CPUs. There's even some cooling paste in here and a manual, and it's pretty simple to put together as well. However, there are some complications installing it in this PC as you will see. First, it's time to disassemble that stock CPU fan. So um, again, the CPU paste has spread a tad too much. A quick cleanup will do. This PC has a very specific motherboard and bolt pins to hold it down. Normally I would remove the motherboard and tighten the CPU fans on the backside. The CPU does come with all these items to do so, but I first tried this option, as removing the motherboard in such a tight space is tricky, but there was no other option. So I uh, removed all the internal parts and wanted to pry out that motherboard. And with that tight space, also comes the fact that just lifting it out was a chore. Cables and a cramped space made this one hell of a job. I eventually maneuvered it out, somehow, and immediately faced another problem. On the back of the motherboard there is a metal shoe that's been glued on, in which to place the CPU fan on. Now this thing needs to come off, because the deep cool CPU fan can be placed on the original shoe. Just to show you, this won't connect to the fan on the CPU in any way. The only way to go is to carefully remove that metal shoe from the backside so I can get that CPU fan and CPU close to each other. Now this is absolutely a risk. I didn't want to bend that motherboard or break something. I had to pry in all sides carefully to eventually get that shoe loose from its dated glue. As soon as that adhesive was gone, I could connect the fan with the supplied screws on the back and that fan and CPU could connect. Now for the main event, getting that noisy back fan out that is causing most of the disturbance. I did have a hard time finding a suitable 70mm fan, but I found this AAB Super Silent Fan 7. Again, nothing spectacular, but at least these fan blades are new and not crooked. Now this is the easiest, just a replacement job. And now it was time to put this thing together, to hear the final result. And a quick power on reveals that I don't hear a fucking thing. Ah, that sound of silence. Even when turning this thing on, you can only hear crickets. Dead crickets. So there we have it. Silent PC gaming has finally arrived. For a Windows XP machine, that is. Again, if you saw this video through the end, you are the best. Meaning that you like this video and you might even like the other videos I did on upgrading and refurbishing PC game rigs. And if you like this video, go give it a thumbs up and a subscribe would be appreciated as it helps this channel grow. It also keeps you updated whenever a new video arrives. And I'll see you on a next video and thank you for watching.